Hey there, I'm Mark Hamrock with Hamrock Music. In the previous video of this lesson series, I went through the process of writing the music for a song. In this quick lesson, I'm going to discuss recording a scratch instrumental track to use for sussing out the arrangement of the song and writing a melody. Please like if you are getting value out of these videos and subscribe to see more lessons in this video series as they come out. Now, you can skip the step of the process as a lot of writers do, but there are a lot of advantages for doing this. I like to record a scratch arrangement to be able to listen to in the car to come up with a vocal melody or even just get acquainted to the song and start to visualize, or aralize, I should say, various possibilities in instrumentation, arrangement, and production. The other reason I do this is for my personal workflow. I typically either produce songs for my clients or for myself, and I usually play all the instruments, except for the drums if I'm not sequencing them, so laying out a scratch arrangement is equivalent to doing a demo over which I can record or sequence drums and then record all the actual tracks to the drums, which produces a lot tighter of a sound. So I'll typically record from just a scratch guitar or piano track to also including scratch bass and vocal tracks, either for me to get more of an idea how the song is going to sound or for the drummer to play to. To record a scratch arrangement, you're gonna need DAW multi-track recording software if you don't have it already. I'm using Reaper, but there's a ton of different ones out there, including Ableton, Audacity, Cubase, FL Studio, GarageBand, Logic, Pro Tools, and others. Check out my links below for suggestions on a good DAW and audio interfaces for your purposes. So I'm gonna start with the music to the song I wrote in my How to Write a Song video. See the link below for that. I'm gonna open up my songwriting template. So a template is a preset project that has all of your tracks already set up with routing and everything. If you're gonna get into music production, you might wanna think about creating a preset template that you can use. I have different ones for mixing, mastering, film scoring, for tracking, for songwriting. So if I go to my songwriting template, that looks like this. So as you can see, I have tracks set up for sequencing drums. I have three different drum sample libraries, a scratch bass track, scratch guitar tracks, keyboards, and then a couple tracks for figuring out melodies on piano plugins, and then three um, scratch vocal tracks. When I'm talking about the arrangement of the song at this point, I'm talking about how long each section will be and the order of the sections. So what I like to do is to record one pass of each chord progression in the song that I can then copy paste however many times that I want that part to repeat. This way it's easy to move things around, add or delete sections. So the first thing I wanna do is set the tempo and I think we had talked about doing 70 beats per minute. Uh, another advantage to laying out a scratch track arrangement is that you can listen to it and conclude whether the tempo is too slow or fast and then change it accordingly before recording the actual tracks. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is save the project as a new song. So I'll create a folder. and then save the project within that folder. And so as you can see, there are these, what are called regions set up that are just kind of preset areas that I can record each section into. And then I can move these around and, you know, when I copy and paste the different sections. So I'm gonna start with my verse chord progression, which was C major, G major, A minor, E major, one bar each. So I have my guitar plugged in to my interface and I'm ready to go. So here we go. All right, sounds great. So we're going to go on, we don't have a pre-chorus, so I'm going to actually delete that region. And then I'm going to go on to record the chorus. So here goes that.
fantastic. And then I'll go on and do the only other part we have, which is the bridge. Here goes that. We got that done. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay out the arrangement. And I'll go to a different view here, make it a little bit bigger. And so, so now I, get, I have to decide how many times I'm gonna use each part. So what I do is just shrink the uh, sections down there to the chord progression, however many bars that verse was four bars. So then what I can do is copy paste this onto my intro. And we're gonna wanna move things around here. So I'm gonna do two times for the intro. That sounds about right. Drag that over there and then probably do about four times for the verse. So there's four there, there's my verse. I can always change it later if I wanna make it shorter or longer. And then my chorus, we're gonna do one time there. So bring that down there. So I got my intro two times, verse four times, and then chorus once. And then from there, I'll probably do uh, an interlude, which is gonna be the same as the intro. So an interlude is just a short musical section without vocals. So I'm gonna leave space for one of those four bars and then another four times for the verse. So you got that. We don't have any pre-choruses, so I can delete that. And we're gonna to wanna to copy our chorus again there. Outline that. And then, let's see, after the chorus, we're gonna be going to the bridge. So, need to move that there. And then take our bridge section, put that there, line that sucker up. Let's edit that. Pre-chorus, we don't have any pre-choruses. And then after the bridge, I'll probably do the chorus again. Let's say for now, just two more times on the chorus. And then I'm gonna figure out, I might have actually an outro at the end of this one, but it doesn't matter for now. Uh, I can always figure it out later. So we'll put the chorus a couple times. Actually, I think what I might do is maybe even add a tag on this song. But again, I can figure it out a little bit later. So one thing I did notice is that the tempo seems a little bit slow. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna bump it up about five BPMs. And as you can see, the rate change. So now everything is sped up and it's still locked to the grid. So if we go back and listen to it. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so you know, I'll go through and check the transitions here. Cool. So I have my initial arrangement set up, so now I can render a copy and listen to it on my mobile device or, you know, wherever. In my next video, I'm going to go through the process of writing a melody for the song using this template. Thanks for watching and please like if you found this info useful and make sure to subscribe to catch more videos coming out.